general description of the Polygon Smoothing Groups add-on. This add-on allows you to easily manage Polygon Smoothing Groups in Blender. It provides powerful tools for automatic creation of sharp edges and seams between polygons, as well as flexible management of vertex groups. In this video, we will go over the key features of the add-on and demonstrate how they work in practice. Let's take a look at its capabilities. In the add-on, you can enable the auto-sharp and auto-smooth checkboxes. This means that when assigning a group number to a polygon, sharp edges and smoothing are automatically applied. Let's see how it works. We select a polygon and assign it a group number. The polygon is assigned to the corresponding group. Now, the selected polygon displays its assigned group in blue, and the edges of the polygon are marked as sharp. We can assign groups with different numbers and see the result on the model. For example, if we have a polygon with group number 2 and another polygon with number 1, we can reassign the groups so that they have the same number. As a result, the shared edge of these two polygons will no longer be sharp, and they will be smooth together. When we select multiple polygons, among which there are polygons with a group and without a group, the group number buttons will be displayed without a number. This is needed to inform the user that the selection includes polygons without an assigned group. For example, if we assign groups with numbers 2 and 3, and then select all three polygons, we will see all three numbers. If we add a polygon without a group to this selection, then all three groups will be displayed without numbers. The add-on also has an Assign Random Group button. This button assigns a random group number considering the neighboring polygons. For example, if groups 1 and 2 are already assigned to neighboring polygons, using Assign Random Group will never assign these numbers to the polygon. We can keep assigning random groups, and they will always avoid the assigned numbers of neighboring polygons. Now, let's clear the selection. The add-on has a Select Non-Group button. It selects all polygons on the model that do not have an assigned group. Let's see how it works. We assign group number 1. After clicking Select Non-Group, all polygons without a group are selected. We can assign them any group. All polygons will receive the same smoothing group, except for the one that was already smoothed with group number 1. This is convenient for tracking which polygons on the model remain without groups. The next button is Select by Smoothing Groups. It selects polygons with the specified group numbers. We can choose specific group numbers we need. Let's look at an example. Suppose this polygon is assigned group 1, and another polygon is assigned group 2. With Select by Smoothing Group, we can select polygons of all groups. We can select a polygon with number 1, then with number 2, and then press OK and the selection will remain active. Let's clear this selection and see how the clear button works. If polygons have groups 1 and 2, by pressing clear, we will remove the group numbers and, depending on the enabled flag, it will clear either sharp or seam. If we have some groups and select a polygon, then press clear, the group numbers will be cleared along with the sharp edges, but the shared sharp edges with other polygons assigned to a group will remain sharp. Now let's assign the group again. If we press clear again, we will remove all edges that do not share common edges with polygons assigned to a group. If there is no selection, Pressing clear will clear the entire model of edges and assigned polygons. Next, the add-on has a group by angle button. It assigns groups to polygons and applies AutoSharp to them. If the AutoSharp checkbox is not enabled, only groups are applied. We see that groups are applied without sharp edges.
However, if AutoSharp is enabled, assigning groups by angle automatically clears group numbers and reassigns them according to the set angle. Let's see what this looks like. If we set the angle to 1 degree and press group by angle, this angle will be applied to all polygons. Let's clear this. This function also allows assigning groups to polygons that we select on the object. If we select a polygon with an angle of 25 degrees and press group by angle, the angle will be recalculated relative to the selected polygon. We see that sharp has been assigned to all polygons within the 25 degree range. Let's press clear. If we set the angle to 5 degrees and press group by angle, sharp will be assigned only to polygons with this angle. The auto seam function. Its functionality and logic are exactly the same as auto sharp, but applied to working with seams. Let's see how it works. Let's look at the sharp edge tool function. This tool is used for assigning sharp edges. We can press unsharp selected, or, while in vertex selection mode, select a vertex and press sharp selected. It will select all edges for which this vertex is common. We have the unsharp selected button, which removes sharp from the selection. There is a sharp all button, which assigns sharp edges to all selected edges. There is the unsharp all button for removing sharp edges and the select sharps button, which selects sharp edges. If we have sharp selected, we can use the select sharps function and apply seam. The seam panel works similarly. We can use seam selected, unseam all, or unseam selected. Press seam all, unseam all, and select seams. There are button shade smooth selected faces and shade flat selected faces to change the shading of selected polygons. The Convert Selection to Border button allows converting selected polygons into selected edges. This add-on pairs perfectly with the Select Polygons by Angle add-on. Now we can adjust the angle and make quick selections on the model with just one click. Let's look at the add-on using another model as an example. I enabled the add-on, set the angle to 15 degrees, and started working with the model. You might ask, why use this add-on when Blender has a built-in shade auto smooth function that assigns smoothing based on the angle? The answer is simple. There are shapes and angles where shade auto smooth does not allow selecting a single angle value that would correctly smooth the entire model. Let's look at another example. Suppose we have a model with a box lid. 
If we apply Shade Auto Smooth, the smoothing changes. However, this angle does not allow us to correctly display the polygons at the given angle. In this case, we lose sharp edges. Let's undo the action and apply my add-ons functionality. Let's start by setting the angle. We will set the angle to 15 degrees. We see that there are many moments that do not suit us. We can change the angle value and find a better result. Let's work with this. I remind you that we have the angle selection function enabled. With a hotkey, we can adjust the selection angle. Let's work with the model. In conclusion, the Polygon Smoothing Groups add-on is a powerful tool that significantly enhances your workflow when managing smoothing groups, sharp edges, and scenes in Blender. It simplifies complex tasks and ensures precise control over how your polygons interact with one another, whether you need smooth transitions or sharp boundaries. This add-on perfectly complements the Select Polygons by Angle add-on, making it even easier to select and group polygons based on their geometric properties. Together, these two add-ons create a seamless and efficient modeling experience. All the links to the add-ons, including the Select Polygons by Angle add-on, can be found in the video description. Be sure to check them out. If you have any questions or feedback, feel free to leave a comment. Thanks for watching, and happy modeling with Blender!